Hello artists! Now that you've gotten your placemat, your CD loom weaving plan, and you've labeled it with your name and class code, you're ready to move on and start drawing your designs. It says draw your ideas for your CD loom weaving in the circles below. After you draw idea number one, draw an additional idea for idea number two. At some point while you're drawing your ideas, we'll pause and give each other feedback. This will help us develop and make our ideas even better. Okay, so put a lot of effort and details into this and think about what you would like to create on the background for your CD loom weaving project. I'm gonna start off with my flower design. Remember the pencils are in your caddy. There are not erasers on the back of them, but there are separate erasers for you if you want to make a change. Add details. Think about what you can do to make your design creative. We're going to be giving each other feedback on one thing that we like about this person's artwork, a question that we have about their artwork, a suggestion to improve it, and we will also finish up by saying, hey, I can tell you really put a lot of effort into this part. So make sure you take the time to put that effort in. When you consider this area, this is where you're going to be actually doing your weaving. This is the yarn area. You can choose up to two different colors for this part. So I'm going to add a line where I want to change colors. I'm going to do one color in here and a different color over here. So take your time, develop idea number one. After you've developed idea number one, go on to idea number two. At some point we will stop and give each other feedback. It's okay if you haven't finished. That's part of the magic of giving each other feedback before we're done because we can continue to use those ideas and feedback to make our artwork even better. Take your time, do your best, and have fun.